it's Tori Orch, 2015 Monster Energy Pit Reporter, and I'm here right now with Citizen. Hey. How have you guys been? What's up, Tori? What up? You doing good? Yes. Yeah, just chilling. You guys are kind of killing it on tour with Circus Survive right now. How's that going so far? We're always killing it. But, yeah, uh, that's true. <laughs> so this tour is no different, but it's been sweet. It's been yeah. really cool. Cool, the shows are super packed. Everybody on the tour is extremely nice, and like the Circa fans are really seem to be receptive and stuff, which is the whole point of us being here. So yeah. it's cool. Awesome. And so this is the first time I've seen you guys since Warped Tour ended, and this was your second year playing Warped. So how was your experience in 2015 different from the last time? There was a lot more people watching this time around. The really? first time we had just put out our first full length, so we were really just treading water and trying to get people to check us out and shit, and this time was uh, a lot more laid back, so it was just all around easier. Good. Definitely. And you guys are clearly really involved in the Warped Tour community and that whole scene. So what is it about Warped that separates it from any other tour or festival for you guys? And I mean, what makes it special for you? You just have all these different people coming out that I would never even see ever in my life. Um, we're like obsessed with that kid, um, the Black Veil Brides kid that was at like yeah, every Indian show. Kid. Oh my gosh. He doesn't yes. think he has to talk about him because no. he's like he's a bit of a headdress. Kid. Yeah. And the whole thing. Yeah. yeah. I would never see that kid ever in my life except for at Warp Tour. That is true. So um, now he's doing the Hotline Bling cover mm -hmm. stuff and great to see him again. Yeah. Shout out to you if you're watching this. Uh, I bet he is. <laughs> I really hope he is, to be honest. Yeah. So aside from seeing him, um, what was the highlight of the tour for you guys? Was there a particular show or just a moment that really sticks out to you? Maybe each of you have different ones. The Long Island show? Mm -hmm. It was just like an insane amount of people and like the most we've ever played for on our own. Uh, not that, you know, we're playing on our own on Warp Tour, but you know, you pick and choose who you want to see and there was just like thousands of people. It was really crazy. So that was, awesome. that was cool. And a gorgeous venue that day too. So right on the water, right? Yeah. That was cool. The Boston show on this was my favorite show and there was like tons of kids and it was cool because, you know, the label is from Boston and mm -hmm. stuff like that. and. To have uh, our squad be there when we like play a kick-ass show is always like really nice. So that was cool. One of the times we got to go off base and go to a Dave and Buster's with our friend Will, who like records us and stuff. Mm -hmm. And so like to be able to get off the rock and do something else besides Warp Tour is you got to do that a couple times yeah. a summer or you're going to go nuts. It's so that was fun. It's like its own little world. So once in a while, you got to remember that there's more out there than Warp yeah. Tour for sure. Totally. And there's such a wide range of artists on the tour. I don't think there's any other tour you could do where I could go see Citizen and then see Riff Raff. Yeah, that's so I mean, <laughs> the most unique thing about it is is there's like a, an obvious niche of bands that aren't going to play mm -hmm. other festivals and stuff like that. And to be able to give kids this sort of huge show where mm -hmm. all these like bands that they're into like they, they wouldn't be able to see all of them otherwise you know exactly. mm -hmm. so I suppose that would probably be the most important thing about the tour mm -hmm. so who did you guys enjoy watching during the summer were there any bands that stuck out to you I liked watching Paris yeah which I think was like the breakout that was like the breakout that was like everybody you talked to was probably <laughs> like I liked watching Paris so I don't really have a unique answer but um, that was probably my band to watch so they were obviously extremely good um, a lot of respect to the guys in Moose Blood. They have like a lot of really cool songs and stuff and they seem nice and so they were cool. Yeah. Totally. Some good picks there. Yeah. And aside from playing every day, you guys were also meeting fans at your tent, mm -hmm. which I, I saw you guys there a lot, meeting fans and taking time out to be with them. So what was your most memorable fan experience of the tour? <laughs> when we were in North Carolina, a girl sang an entire song of ours to us very fast. And we thought she was done after the first verse, but she did the second verse. It was it was cool. She was super excited. That was that probably stands out the most because mm -hmm. she was she had a lot of confidence. I would never ever do that. So, yeah. you know, that was sick. Truly an unforgettable experience. Right. And it's not every day that you have fans coming up to your tent to start singing to you. So you got serenaded. Yeah. That, oh, that's yeah. <laughs> awesome. It was Everybody crazy. else in line got serenaded and yeah. the person after her was <laughs> she she was left hanging straight up. Yeah. She didn't know what to do after that. No way yeah. to top that. No, you can't follow that. You can't follow that. <laughs> Definitely not. And you also, uh, speaking of your music here, Everybody's Going to Heaven is the album that's out now, which is incredible. Um, can you tell us a little more about it, if anybody who hasn't heard it yet? It's just a, it's a badass rock record. It's, uh, it's chaotic, 
but it's really calm at points. It was quite a departure from the record that came before it. Mm -hmm. We just wanted to kind of get out of a box that we felt like we were in. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think we did that. Definitely. And as you're saying, it is very different from youth. So what in, I mean, what was inspiring you guys musically while you were recording this album? I think the big idea is to make something that stands on its own. When we went in and wrote, it wasn't like we weren't writing for anyone in particular. We just wanted to make like a record that was going to like stand out. That was hopefully will stick around longer than Citizen Will. You know, we weren't writing for the Tiger's Jaw kids, or we weren't writing for like anyone in particular. There's no sort of like target niche, which I mean, some people like to do that and, and find success in that, but it just wasn't our agenda to do that. You know what I mean? We wanted to just truly be completely liberated when we yeah. made the record. Well, based on listening to it, I think you guys definitely succeeded with that mission there. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Always great talking to you. And everybody watching, make sure you catch Citizen. Their album, Everybody's Going to Heaven's out now. And I will see you in the pit. <laughs> Thanks, Story. Thanks. <laughs>